My name is Kyla. And I'm Maxwell. And we are a part of the 30 person Biobus team. Last year, seven students implemented Bali's first ever Biobus. Its original goal was to provide a sustainable mode of transportation for our school. Since its debut just 12 months ago, the project and its vision has grown beyond any of our expectations. But before we talk more about ourselves, we want to highlight a serious health and environmental issue that exists in Bali. This is the problem of used cooking oil. When you heat cooking oil more than once, it starts to lose its nutritional value, it gets mixed with contaminants, and it increases the risk of cancer. The cycle begins in a few Indonesian islands where huge areas of the most pristine rainforests in the world are being burnt down to make way for palm oil plantations. This process alone displaces animals like orangutans, as well as indigenous people, and destroys Indonesia's ecosystems. The oil from these plantations is processed, it's turned into cooking oil, and then it's sold to big hotels in Bali. These hotels use the oil to cook two or three times before it becomes unhealthy and they're supposed to throw it away. But hotels rarely actually get rid of this oil. And this is where the black market for used cooking oil begins. The oil is resold to popular shops and restaurants all around Bali at half its original price and at a much lower quality. These restaurants use the same dirty oil to cook. And once they're done with it, the oil is resold yet again to even smaller restaurants, usually in the more rural areas of Bali. By the time that these restaurants are finished with the oil, it's simply too poisonous to be resold again. And so they're forced to throw it away, either into the river or onto the ground. Either way, it's polluting Bali's water system. Throughout this cycle, a single batch of cooking oil could be used up to 40 times. This is what that looks like. <laughs> we thought that this was simply unacceptable, and so we decided to take action. This is the result. This is the bio bus, the cleanest bus in Bali. <laughs> The Biobus was launched in order to address a number of issues around Bali, the black market for used cooking oil being one of them. After discovering that six out of every ten cars coming to our school only had one or two students in them, it was clear that we needed to take action. Since then, one Biobus has grown to three, and our model has transformed from just a small initiative to an impactful social enterprise. Our goals are to offer waste and health solutions, provide sustainable transportation, and bring the real world back into education. Our buses run entirely on biodiesel that is made from used cooking oil and emits 80% less carbon dioxide than other fuels. These buses provide over 1,800 biodiesel rides every month which saves more than three tons of carbon dioxide from being released into the atmosphere every month. That's the equivalent to the amount of CO2 that would be released from driving a petrol-fueled car from here in Bali, Indonesia, all the way to New York City. And you'd still have 4,000 kilometers to go. And that is every single month. By offering these rides, we also take 30 to 40 cars off the road every day. But none of this would be possible without the amazing partnership that we have with Lingus Hijo, a biodiesel plant located in the heart of Bali, and they supply our biodiesel. Lingus Hijo takes oil off the black market by buying it from large hotels. They then take this oil back to their treatment plant, process it, and turn it into biodiesel. Together, we continue to build an armada of Biobus battleships in order to improve life in Bali and fight the black market. So when you turn cooking oil into biodiesel, there's actually a byproduct that's produced called glycerin. And although glycerin sounds like a, a strange, maybe even dangerous word, it's actually a natural ingredient that you can find in many common products like shampoo or toothpaste. 
During a trip to Lingus Hijau a few months ago, we found out that there was actually no local market for glycerin here in Bali. And so Lingus Hijau had to do something with the glycerin they were making. And so what they were doing was that they were sending it all the way to South Korea to be used in beauty products. Well, we thought that this kind of went against the whole point of being in the biodiesel industry in the first place, since it takes a huge amount of fossil fuels to transport this pretty heavy byproduct to Korea. Um, so we wanted, we wanted to help them find a solution. And so after a lot of research and a lot of support from them, we found out that we could actually make an eco soap out of this glycerin. And so that's exactly what we did. The Biobus started a sub enterprise called BioSoap, where students, teachers, uh, interns, and volunteers get together after school and hand make our glycerin based biodegradable soap using only four natural ingredients. BioSoap was only the first step in our efforts to close the loop on waste. Next, we felt like we needed to directly involve the local community with our efforts. And so we launched the Grease Police Initiative. <laughs> this is a community outreach program that involves both local youth and expat students in the collection of used cooking oil in order to cut down on the black market. We collect an average of 250 liters of nasty oil every week. And this number continues to grow as we expand our program. We walk the streets of Bali, explaining to shops, restaurants, and homes why they should give us their oil. And in exchange, we give them a bottle of our bio soap. <laughs> By doing this, we not only take used cooking oil off the black market, but we also educate the community about the dangers of overusing oil, as well as encourage them to use our biodegradable and sustainable soap. Now, although this does sound like the perfect solution, it sometimes is a struggle to get restaurants and hotels to give us their oil, as it is a source of income for them and their employees. And actually, just recently, my friend and I stumbled upon a situation like this when we went to an extremely popular restaurant chain here in Bali, which I'm sure that so many of you, if not all of you here in the audience, have eaten at. And we were certain that they would be happy to partner, but we didn't get the welcome we expected to. They had at least 15 liters of used cooking oil just sitting there in plain sight, less than five meters away from me. But when I asked if we could take it in in exchange for our bio soap, the employees pretended to be completely clueless, walking around the kitchen, checking all over for the oil as my friend and I pointed to it, telling them it's right there. This is why we think that our Grease Police initiative is so important. Because without educating the local community on how dangerous used cooking oil really is, it's almost impossible to effectively stop the black market. So everything we are doing within the BioBus is helping us to fight against the black market. And you might be wondering, how can some high school students like us actually make a real difference? Well, as we said before, the BioBus is a student-driven social enterprise. Beyond that, some of our teachers have created classes in a range of subjects that are based around our BioBus program. These classes are now integrated into our high school curriculum and teach over 80 students about math, chemistry, environmental studies, enterprise, and so much more. We also use these classes as a platform in order to educate students about the dangers of the black market for used cooking oil. And now many of them have actually joined the Greece police force, helping to inspire awareness and create change. As our BioBus coordinator likes to say, it's a dream come true for holistic learning. As you can see, we are doing a lot of things. The scope of our project exploded in such a short amount of time that for a while our team felt overwhelmed with having to do so many things at once. It quickly became clear to us that we wouldn't be able to keep growing with only the resources that we had. It just wasn't feasible. We needed a way to do things quicker, to do things more efficiently, and to do things better. Coincidentally, around the same time, um, there was a lot of interest going around in our school about coding, programming, and software design. So we thought to ourselves, why don't we make an app? The students in our team got really excited about this idea, and some of our friends jumped on the possibility to explore this further. One of our teachers actually found a graduate level team from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University who was really interested in helping us out. 
and they came to Bali for three weeks in order to help us design and develop our applications. Now the Biobus actually has two apps that are currently in development. We have a transportation app as well as a used cooking oil app. I'm personally in charge with supervising the development of these two apps, which we created to help us manage our enterprise as well as to spread our cause. So the purpose of a transportation app is to offer our commuters an easier way to reserve a seat on our buses, as well as to make it simpler for them to see our schedules and our timetables. We hope that by making the Bybus accessible to more people than ever, that will encourage new people to ride on our buses. Our used cooking oil app will provide us with a way to keep track of our partners and will hopefully allow us to maximize the amount of used cooking oil that we take off of the black market. Overall, we couldn't be more excited by the possibilities that these two apps will bring to our enterprise, and we can't wait until they're ready to be released so that we can put the Biobus into the palms of your hands. As you can see, the Biobus does so much more than just help solve health and environmental issues that our island and the, our entire world are facing. We actually take students out of the classroom and into the real world in order to allow them to create change that leaves a lasting impact. Students pursue topics that they love in our classes and programs, while also creating social and environmental change that lasts. Our model teaches students to be aware of opportunities to take action and provide them with a framework that allows them to tackle issues that they feel are important, just as the Biobus has. We are so proud of everything that we've done up to this point, but we know the Biobus has a long road ahead. We are only one year old. In the coming year, we can grow this movement. But we can only do this with the support of our community, with your support. It's our dream that what we're doing here will spread throughout the island, even throughout the world, so that we can free people from the dangers of used cooking oil and look towards a cleaner, healthier Bali. Thank you. <laughs>